<laughs> what's going on? I'm out here. So I think we need to do one more. Everybody together. Let's all get out here, everybody. Let's all get out here. Do one, one more. more. Do one more. All right. Do one more. So we're going to do, you want to do a conducted sure. situation? Sure, 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 sure. Would you like to conduct? Yes, yes I will. Is great at conducting. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell one story right now inspired by our friend here. Tell us who our friend is. All right. You're going to see a conducted story, and this is coming to you from Freddie. Freddie has sent us in his info, and Freddie's a level three. He's from Vail, North Carolina. Coffee makes him think of good stuff. His hobbies are learning Chinese. That's a great hobby, sir. And, and a skill. It's a skill, and it's going to be useful in the next couple years. And I like to, <laughs> oh, and he likes to drink coffee with milk. So, Freddie, these are amazing inspirations, and now you will see a conducted story. This is a story that's never been told before, and it will be told by each of the actors in part. So first, I need to warm them up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, Freddie, you have inspired this. Uh, you have inspired this. I'm going to give each of the actors one of the things on your page to inspire their part of the story. So, for you, your your inspiration is good stuff, man. Good, good stuff. Good man. stuff. Yours is learning Chinese, and yours is simply milk. Nice. Wonderful. So, Freddie, level three. This is called Freddie's story. My passion has always been to learn Chinese until I found out that they have a completely different alphabet. I want to recruit you to learn an alphabet for all, I said. And I went to that world of China, and I rose up on my milk crate. And, and I introduced them to the art of hanging loose. We sat in beanbag chairs, we flipped through magazines, we read all sorts of photograph books. <laughs> and together we decided to make a photograph book written in Chinese. Oh, that was the first part of the story. It was amazing, but it's just the beginning. And so, hey, yes, let's go to the end. Here's the end of this, uh, this brilliant tale, Freddy's story. This is the conclusion. Freddy had learned Chinese, and the whole world learned with him. And he chillaxed maximally on a beachside in Jersey City, Canada, where he never had been to before and enjoyed it immensely. And the moral of the story is always be conscious of your alphabet Chinese land. Yes, give them a round of applause. Thank you, Fred.